Hello, Internet. It's me, Hewlett, with another DGeek Diaries for you. And today, I wanted to talk about that weird mix that is business and YouTube. Because fanatical entertainment, I am now fanatical about. I am like this is this is truly this is the future. I want to pursue it. But in order to do that, I have to figure out how to make it you know viable. And part of viability is the ability to pay for your mortgage and your children's food. So basically, what I want to do is figure out how to make this work as a business. And so. I see huge problems there because the nature of this is so personal and honest, and and um, and there's a trust and a and a and a and a and a and a communication that's going on here that I would find very difficult with a corporation. And then I suddenly went, well, wait a second. I have always banked online or by phone, anything to avoid lining up with the little slips of paper and the pencils and all that crap, which I just hate. And everyone's grumpy. Everyone's grumpy in a bank line, and, and they're often grumpy behind the bank line. Anyways, the point being is, I've avoided that. Now I have this bank manager that we deal with, who all of a sudden is now the face of the bank for me. He's, when I got a problem, I go, I go grumpy on him, and he says, no, you're right, that's silly, let's go figure that out. That's, and all of a sudden, my bank has a personality. My bank is a person. And uh, in a way that it never has been before, and which I think is essential for them from now on, they've got to figure that out, because it's, otherwise, I think we're going to, yeah, it's, what's, why, yeah, otherwise there's no reason for it. It's all done now. Electronically. So basically, I thought that was interesting that a guy as so immersed in technology and, and IT stuff as I am would actually now prefer to go and talk to this guy about stuff as opposed to dealing with phones and, and computers and stuff. Because you just get straight to the source and you get there's a there's an emotion behind that and a and a and a, and a sort of a kindred spirit, because he's also, I would have to say, a huge geek like myself. Anyway, so there's that. Um, and I wondered, how do you bring that to YouTube? Because that's essentially what you have to do. These companies have to become um, basically personalities that we trust and that we we um, that we want to be a part of our stuff. So. And that because I, that's what you know from this is coming from the film and television side of stuff. That's where you go. You go to brands. You go to people with money, and you say, "We want to make stuff. Do you want to give us money to make stuff? And how can we help you in that process?" So it's that weird balance of like, how do we entertain and do what we want, but at the same time be able to pay for that? I mean, it's a, it's an age old thing. I mean, it's, it goes back to you know patronage with with artists and stuff. And basically, that's what. I'm asking you today is what's worked on YouTube. So if you could comment below, let me know what sort of corporate or marketing or advertising stuff has worked for you. And maybe there's stuff to avoid. I mean, I know there's a lot of stuff to avoid. I can see a lot more comments about what to avoid, but basically I'd like to know what works. Let's focus on the positive. Um, what is working out there for you? I mean, what I've, there's a number of ads I've seen, which I just love. They're usually VW ones, it seems these days. Um, but, but basically, um, and, and again, I mean, I've always said that the key to getting people to watch commercials is, is for just to make really good commercials. Um, but uh, comment below. Let me know, what are you liking on YouTube in that regard, that stuff that is selling stuff to you that works? Um, so that we may use that knowledge to pay for shows that you want to see. Um, anyways, so comment below, subscribe with the shiny lights of shininess behind me, and until we geek again, cheerio!